What's going on everybody? Welcome to Always Occupied Home and Product Reviews and in this review we are going to go over something that I have seen for a long time but I never used it. This is post foam, okay? This is foam that you'll use when you're trying to set up a mailbox, bird feeder post, fence post if you want to use this as a solution. But here it says one bag equals two 50 pound bags of concrete mix that is insane over here it gives you the specs of your hole that you make uh right here so i am going to use one bag but right here it says 36 inches use two bags of this so if you needed to do a fence post and you dug 36 inches in depth you will need two of these which will equal up to uh about well over thirty dollars about thirty four dollars thirty five dollars so if you think uh thirty five dollars a fist post is worth it then you will get this bag all right in my opinion concrete may still be cheaper than using this uh the only thing with concrete is is just a lot more work compared to what they say in this do so this is my first time doing this uh i don't have my regular work gloves so i will be using food grade gloves you guys i know so wear your proper ppe and they also telling you what to do on the back all right so basically wear your gloves when you're doing this process all right the arrow is here it says roll in this direction so we have to roll it and then when we bust it open here we have to mix it it says cut here 15 seconds after mixing so once you mix it for 15 seconds you have to cut here and then pour it in your hole and we'll watch the foam come up so let's have some fun bada boom all right and we are leveled right there all right you guys let's go ahead and get into it i'm about to open this bag up right now if y'all have any other questions put it in the comment section because this is my first time doing this as well i know food grade gloves you guys this is food grade gloves but this is all i got all right here we go <sighs> yep, roll it, roll it. We're still rolling. And it's busted. Uh, I guess I shake it like this. One, two, 15 seconds, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right. And we cut here. There we go. All right, you guys. Now it's time to start pouring. Ooh, the stuff is hot. Stuff is like burning up hot. Be careful, you guys. Wear some good, better gloves than what I'm wearing. Oh, and it's foaming up like crazy. Let me show y'all real quick. Oh, y'all can see that now let me make sure i'm good and low i'll let y'all know if this is strong enough to actually put my well my reel on because i want it more stronger than that 
I think I should have used concrete. I think this is, all right, let me stop thinking about it. All right, you guys. It's been about 30 minutes and this stuff is solid. Very bouncy when you're hitting it with a hammer. All right, you guys, so I want to let y'all know that the foam is okay, but guess what? I should have dug three foot, maybe three foot, uh, I, th I dug at least 20 inches and it still has wiggle to it. All right, so for me, it don't, it don't seem like it does as well as concrete to me, all right? So my next post, I will just use concrete fast set and be done with it. I am not going to go and do the foam thing again. I think this is my last trial run for the foam. If I do the foam again, I will probably dig the 36 inches and yeah, I will have a deeper hole. But other than that, the foam don't stay. I will discuss the rest with y'all on the sit down. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna give you my final thoughts and my opinion, okay? My final thoughts and my opinion. That's a big one y'all need to get around when it comes to this YouTube thing. I don't believe that the foam is bad. It's just that it didn't work for me. One thing that I will take blame for is that the post hole is not 36 inches. So on here, it has the little markings here. There is a 36 inch threshold. Usually me, my post, I put two feet in the ground, okay? My bird feeding post back there, if y'all watch any of my videos, I put that post in. I dug a two foot hole, it's 24 inches. I dug two foot and I used one bag of concrete, all right? At least, I think it was a bag. I think maybe 60 pounds or 80 pounds, I don't remember. It's between 60 to 80 pounds of concrete and that bird feeding pole don't move like at all. It don't shake nothing, okay? With this, I, I put it two foot. It's at least two foot underground, all right? So it should just be good. Now, I use this foam and I, for one, want to say that I believe if you go by whatever they say here, you're good, all right? If you dig 36 inches to whatever you're digging, you're good. A whole diameter, 10 inches. I think I'm about 10 inches but it still say 36 foot in depth. And it says two bags for 36 foot in depth, one bag for 36 inches for the eight inch. So maybe I needed two of these, okay? If I use, if I would've used two of these, I think I would've been good. I think so. Now, the only thing with that is, if I would've got two of these, it would've been $30, $30 with concrete, you can get a, you can be, good with concrete for a long time for 40 bucks all right 40 bucks of concrete that's a lot of concrete all right now the only benefit with this is it's light this thing is light concrete is very heavy you have your 60 pound bag you have an 80 pound bag blase blase or whatever pound bag they want to make concrete is way more heavier than this stuff all right so maybe that's a reason why you rather use this instead of the concrete me i'm a concrete guy my family is concrete people my father uh master mason uh he dealt with brick laying concrete uh home home improvements my uncle had burley construction i was working with them and i'm just a concrete guy that's it so with me, with concrete, I don't mind getting concrete. A couple of bags here, a couple of bags there, and use the concrete, so. I will be redoing the post, but I just wanted to sit down with y'all and talk to y'all, so if y'all do get this, or try this out, make sure you dig uh, a good enough hole. I will go with eight inch in diameter, all right? I will do the eight inch in diameter. I will still test out the two foot, but I will get two of these, all right? With one, I'm still getting too much shaking going on, and I don't think that should be going on. Um, but yeah, that's it. If y'all have any other questions, comments, concerns, please put it in the comment section. Uh, I hope this video did you some justice, and that will be it. Like, 
comment, share, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.